subtraction using hundreds grid. Hi Neha, are you ready for today's lesson? Yes, I was waiting for you to come and start the lesson subtraction. Okay Neha, today we will discuss about subtraction. In the previous chapter, you learned how to make use of the hundreds grid for adding numbers. We can use the same hundreds grid for subtracting numbers also. Do you remember Neha? Subtraction is the reverse process of addition? Yes, I remember. Addition means putting things together and subtraction is the process of taking away. Absolutely right Neha. To add ones, we move towards right on the hundreds grid. So to subtract ones on the number grid, we move towards the left. Let us find 48 minus 5. We start from 48 and move 5 step backwards towards the left to reach 43. Similarly, to find 65 minus 20, we move 20 steps upward from 65 to reach 45. And to subtract tens and ones, we first move upward and then move towards the left. Let us find 68 minus 26. 26 is 20 plus 6. So we first move 2 steps upward from 68 to reach 48. From 48, we move 6 steps towards left to reach 42.